Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students, welcome to the class. So today we will be discussing about the orbital correlation method to check the feasibility of the cycloaddition reactions. It is our usual practice to recollect what we have discussed in the previous class before starting any new topic, right. So in the previous class to start with, we try to understand the cycloaddition reactions. So cycloaddition reactions are the addition of two unsaturated systems. So to give you a cyclic adduct molecule, right. So the forward process is called as cycloaddition reaction, whereas the backward process where the conversion of the acyclic adduct molecule by breaking down the sigma bonds and converting it into two pi individuals is called as retrocycloaddition reaction or simply cycloreversion reaction, right. So these two types of cycloaddition reactions are further classified into different types based upon the number of electrons, pi electrons involved in the reaction. So the most important uh, types of uh, cycloaddition reactions are 2 pi plus 2 pi cycloadditions and 4 pi plus 2 pi cycloadditions. So if the first partner is giving only 2 electrons, 2 pi electrons and the second partner in turn is also giving 2 pi electrons, so then this comes under the category of 2 pi plus 2 pi cycloadditions. So if the first partner is giving 4 pi electrons and the second partner is giving only 2 pi electrons, this categorized as 4 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reactions and we all obviously know that 4 pi plus 2 pi cycloadditions are very important and uh, for discovering this kind of reactions, Nobel Prize was also awarded that we will discuss later, right. So this is called as Diels-Alder reaction. So besides these two most important types of cycloaddition reactions, there are so many cycloaddition reactions like uh, 4 pi plus 4 pi cycloaddition reactions, 6 pi plus 4 pi cycloaddition reactions, 8 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reactions and 14 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reactions. Of course, there are limited number of examples on those type of higher order cycloaddition reactions. These are called as higher order cycloaddition reactions whereas uh, 2 pi plus 2 pi and 4 pi plus 2 pi are normal cycloaddition reactions, right. So these are the categories or of the cycloaddition reactions. Next thing is, after knowing that cycloaddition reactions are also pericyclic reactions, the first thing we need to do is to check the feasibility of a particular cycloaddition reactions because cycloaddition reactions which are also pericyclic reactions can happen either in the thermal conditions or in the photochemical conditions, right. So we need to check for which type of cycloaddition reaction which condition is apt to produce the product cyclic adduct molecule that is either thermal condition or photochemical condition. So to uh, analyze this or to check the feasibility of the cycloaddition reactions, we have again three theories. One is the frontier molecular orbital theory which we have discussed in the last class and now we will be discussing the orbital correlation method. So to understand the feasibility of the cycloaddition reactions. Uh, before uh, analyzing this, cycloaddition reactions has to take place on as either of the phases of the molecule. So if a single individual molecule is using the same phase, lobes present on the same phase, we uh, treated it as suprafacial partner and if it is using the lobes for the formation of the sigma bond from the different phases, we treated it as a anterofacial partner, right. So suprafacial partner is there and anterofacial partner is there based upon the uh, lobes participation either from the same phase or from the different phases, right. So uh, frontier molecular orbital theory to evaluate the cycloaddition reactions needs selection of homo molecular orbitals which is nothing but highest occupied molecular orbital and lumo molecular orbital which is low unoccupied molecular orbital, right. So under thermal conditions for one partner you should choose the homo molecular orbital in ground state and under the thermal conditions for the second partner, you have to choose the lumo molecular orbital still in the ground state only. So whereas in the photochemical conditions, one partner, you have to choose the homo molecular orbital in the first excited state and you have to choose the lumo molecular orbital in the second partner in the ground state itself. So based on this, we have tried all the combinations, supra, supra, 
supra antara antara supra and so antara antara uh, combinations to derive the woodward hoffman selection rules according to the frontier molecular orbital theory what the frontier molecular orbital theory is telling finally about the cycloadditions is so 2 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reactions are photochemically allowed and 4 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reactions are thermally allowed okay so we'll be seeing many more uh, examples of each of these categories 2 pi plus 2 pi and also 4 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reactions but now we'll discuss as said the orbital correlation method to check the feasibility of the both 2 pi plus 2 pi cycloadditions as well as the 4 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reactions. Yeah. So, orbital correlation method. First, we will apply this orbital correlation method for the 2 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reactions. So, in order to check the feasibility according to this method, what we need to see first? We need to see the symmetry properties of various molecular orbitals, symmetry properties of molecular orbitals belonging to both reactant as well as products. So, first thing before applying the orbital correlation method, what we need to do is we need to see the various symmetry properties of various molecular orbitals involved in the reactant molecule as well as in the product molecule. That is the first thing. After understanding the symmetry properties of the molecular orbitals of both reactant and product, what we need to do? So, we need to compare them we need to match them. So, we need to compare the symmetry properties of the molecular orbitals of both product as well as the reactant molecule and we need to match them according to the symmetry properties. So, after matching the symmetry properties of both reactant as well as the product, what we need to do? We need to connect them in order to draw the orbital correlation diagram. We need to draw the orbital correlation diagram. And in this course, what we have understood is all the symmetry properties are conserved both in the reactant molecule, in the transition state and also in the product. So, the orbital symmetries are conserved. For a 2 pi plus 2 pi system, so if you are taking a 2 pi plus 2 pi system, that means this is a 2 pi system and again there is one more 2 pi system. So, the pi orbitals, we are now seeing the symmetry properties of the pi orbitals in this case, right. So, each such system will have two planes of symmetry, two planes of symmetry. One is the horizontal plane of symmetry and the other is the vertical plane of symmetry. How the horizontal plane of symmetry will run? So, horizontal plane of symmetry will run in between the two uh, pi centers. This is a pi individual and this is another pi individual. The plane which is running in between these two partners is called as horizontal plane of symmetry which can also be represented as sigma 1 in later cases to simplify this. And then this horizontal plane of symmetry is perpendicular to the p orbitals, is perpendicular to the p orbitals of the participating partners. And now one more plane of symmetry, mirror plane of symmetry is there that is vertical plane of symmetry. So, this vertical plane of symmetry sigma v is splitting the molecule into half and then is perpendicular to the sigma bond. So, this vertical plane of symmetry is perpendicular to the sigma bond whereas, the horizontal plane of symmetry or sigma 1 is perpendicular to the pi molecular orbitals of the individuals. So, this is also treated as sigma 2. So, the same set of mirror planes that is both horizontal plane of symmetry and also vertical plane of symmetry should also exist in the case of the product molecule. So, what is the product of this cycloaddition of 2 pi plus 2 pi? So, it is the cyclobutane. So, this also will have the two planes of symmetry. One is horizontal plane of symmetry 
and the other is vertical plane of symmetry. So, now what we need to do is we need to compare both the planes, symmetry properties of both the planes or the mirror planes. So, with the symmetry properties of both the planes in the case of product molecule. So, then we will be getting the correlation between these two. So, if you draw the correlation diagram between the properties, symmetry properties of molecular orbitals of the reactants and also symmetry properties of molecular orbitals of the products, you will be able to produce the orbital correlation diagram. So, from the orbital correlation diagram, you can now analyze and come to a conclusion whether the reaction under thermal conditions is feasible or the reaction under photochemical conditions is feasible. So, that is our main idea, right. So, if the molecules are symmetric with respect to the horizontal plane of symmetry, you represent it as symmetric S, capital S. If the molecule is symmetric with respect to the vertical plane of symmetry also, that is sigma 2, so then put one more capital S. So, S, S is indicating that these are symmetric with respect to both the mirror planes, symmetric with respect to both the mirror planes, both sigma 1 and sigma 2 are symmetric here. So, if the molecule is symmetric with respect to the sigma 1 and anti-symmetric with respect to the sigma 2, it should be denoted as S A. So, A here gives you the sense of anti-symmetry. So, it is symmetric with respect to the sigma 1 and symmetric anti-symmetric with respect to sigma 2. If it is anti-symmetric with respect to sigma 1, but symmetric with respect to sigma 2, it is denoted by A and S. If it is anti-symmetric with respect to both the planes, both the mirror planes, sigma 1 and also sigma 2, you treat it as A and A. So, these are the notations given to understand in which plane the molecule is symmetric or the molecular orbitals are symmetric and in which plane the molecular orbitals are anti-symmetric. So, it can be both symmetric with respect to the two mirror planes, it can be symmetric as well as anti-symmetric with respect to either of the planes and anti-symmetric and symmetric or both anti-symmetric is also possible. So, the main idea of this orbital correlation method is that, so by applying the concept of conservation of orbital symmetry uh, as developed by Woodward and Hoffman, it is easy to show in the correlation diagram understand how the levels are getting transformed while converting the reactant molecules into the products. So, now we will check this orbital correlation diagram, we will draw this orbital correlation diagram for 2 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reactions. So, 2 pi plus cycloaddition reactions, right. Hmm. So, first of all we need to see that there are 2 pi individuals each one contributing 2 number of electrons, pi electrons and uh, each one is having a single pi bond. So, this is the pi orbital, molecular orbital for the first individual and this is the pi molecular orbital for the second individual. So, it can be denoted as pi 1 and as this is the first molecular orbital, there are no nodes at all, right. So, no nodes means all the positive lobes are on the same phase and the negative lobes are on the same phase. So, there is a no node between these two orbitals. So, the same is the case with the pi orbital of the second partner also. Now, try to see the planes. This is sigma 1 and this is sigma 2. Now, check the symmetry according to the mirror plane 1, sigma 1. So, both the positive lobes are on the same side and you can say easily that this is a mirror image of this one or vice versa, right. So, that means sigma 1 is symmetric, sigma 1 is 
symmetry put S capital S. And with the vertical plane of uh, symmetry you see you can equally divide this. So, this is a mirror plane of this and this is a mirror plane of this that means sigma 2 is also symmetric. So, put another yes. So, the next one is pi 2 and now on observing the symmetry properties. So, sigma 1 what is happening here? So, here you have for the first uh, orbital the pi uh, sorry positive lobes on the top for this also on the top. So, that means this is not a mirror image of this. So, sigma 1 is anti symmetric. So, A. What about the vertical plane? So, vertical plane is a mirror image. See this, it is showing the mirror image. So, this is mirror image to this one, this is mirror image to this one. So, it is symmetric with respect to vertical plane of symmetry. And two pi bonds are involved in producing the two sigma bonds, two new sigma bonds. So, this is the energy barrier. Okay. So, these two combinations will result in the formation of bonding molecular orbitals. This is pi 3. So, what has happened here? So, one node has now observed here. So, if nodes are increasing obviously, the energy of that particular molecular orbital increases. So, the energy of this pi 3 is more because there is a node here. Okay. So, now check the symmetry. So, this is sigma 1 and this is sigma 2. So, what is happening with sigma 1? So, this is a mirror image. So, you can see this as mirror image to the that one. So, that means with respect to sigma 1, this is symmetric and check the other plane of symmetry, vertical plane of symmetry. So, this is not a mirror image, sorry, right. So, yes, A. And finally, Yes. So, now check the symmetry here. So, sigma 1 is anti symmetric and uh, with respect to sigma 2 also it is anti symmetric. So, this is for the reactant molecules. So, coming to the product. So, what is the product? It is the cyclobutane cyclobutane. So, with respect to this as the lobes are same, it gives you completely bonding molecular so, this check the symmetry properties here. So, with respect to sigma 1 it is symmetric and with respect to sigma 2 that is vertical plane of symmetry also this is symmetry. So, another sigma bond formation can also be made with this kind of combination right. So, those positive lobes have uh, overlapped and this negative lobes have overlapped resulting in the formation of a bond. Now, so with respect to the horizontal plane it is symmetric and with respect to the vertical plane 
it is anti symmetric. So, this is sigma 1 bond and this is sigma 2 here. And now, coming to the third one, So, this is an anti bonding molecular orbital, right. So, now check the symmetry with respect to the horizontal plane, this is anti symmetric, and with respect to the vertical plane, this is symmetric. And finally, So, you check the symmetry here, according to the horizontal plane it is anti symmetric and as per the vertical plane also it is anti symmetric. So, these are the symmetry properties of reactant as well as the product. So, now what we need to do is we need to match the symmetry properties of reactant as well as the product and connect them in order to draw the orbital correlation diagram, right. So, this is symmetric and this is symmetric. So, it is matching with each other. So, bond formation is happening here. And this is anti symmetric and symmetric where you can see in the product case. So, here you can see. So, that means it is matching with this one. And now the product here it is symmetric and anti symmetric where you can see here in the reactant here it is matching here right and this one is matching here anti symmetric anti symmetric <coughs> what we have understood here with the help of this correlation diagram for a 2 pi plus 2 pi system means it has to cross the energy barrier, is not it. So, this is the energy barrier for these orbitals, molecular orbitals and now it is crossing the energy barrier and moving on to the excited state, first excited state. So, that means what we can uh, show here is pi 1 with 2 electrons and pi 2 with 2 electrons is moving like this. Sigma 1 with 2 electrons and sigma 3 star with 2 electrons. So, that means it is moving to the first excited state, it is moving to what? First excited state. So, therefore, as the correlation diagram is clearly showing that the matching of the symmetry properties of the orbitals of reactants with the products is happening with in the first excited state. So, if any reaction, any pericyclic reaction is occurring in the first excited state, what we should conclude? It is photochemically allowed. So, exactly that is what the frontier molecular orbital theory has also taught us. So, according to the frontier molecular orbital theory also, 2 pi plus 2 pi cyclo additions are photochemically allowed. So, and now it is proved with the orbital correlation method also that it is photochemically allowed and thermally forbidden. So, the next one is 4 pi plus 2 pi cyclo addition reactions. So, one partner is giving 4 pi electrons and the other partner is giving 2 pi electrons, ok. So, the best example for this is 1 3 butadiene on combination with an ethylene gives rise to the cyclic adduct molecule like this, ok. So, this we will be seeing according to the orbital correlation method. Now, so in the cyclobutane, 1,3-cyclobutadiene, so we have 4 sp2 carbon atoms and we know that it will produce 4 pi molecular orbitals, psi1, psi2, psi3, psi4. 
and the electronic configurations are like this. Psi 1 will have 2 electrons, Psi 2 will have 2 electrons, Psi 3 without electrons, Psi 4 without electrons. So, these are antibody. More number of nodes will be there for Psi 3 and Psi 4. Okay. So, first we will see with this. So, this is psi 1 molecular orbital. And this is psi 2 molecular orbital. psi 3 molecular orbital this is psi 4 molecular orbital now along with me you just show me direct me how the psi 1 molecular orbital will look like so this is a psi 1 molecular orbital n is equal to 1 and number of nodes is n minus 1 that means 1 minus 1 therefore 0 nodes. So, that means all the lobes on the one phase will be having same sign. Okay. So, let it be taken as this. And psi 2 will have 1 node 2 minus 1 is 1 node. So, therefore, So, there is a node here okay. and psi 3 will have two nodes. Like this. So, one node here and one node here, two nodes will be there and psi 4 will have four nodes, 4 minus 3 sorry 3 nodes psi 4 will have 3 nodes 4 minus 1 that is 3 so one node is here one another node second node is here and third node is here so this is the molecular orbitals pi molecular orbitals for 1 3 butadiene so now 1 3 butadiene is adding up with ethylene molecule so <coughs> According to the energy, it will lie in between psi 1 and psi 2 and this is named as pi 1. So, it does not contain any node and pi 2 will be seen as per the energy here. So, this will contain one node. So, the energy is like this. So, this is the energy barrier energy is increasing like this. Okay. And now, so this is the energy barrier here. So, what is happening on combination of this uh, one tributadiene with the ethylene molecule? You are producing two new sigma bonds and one pi bond. So, previously, with respect to butadiene, two pi bonds are involved and with respect to ethylene, one pi bond is involved. So, three pi bonds are there in the reactant molecules, whereas out of these three pi bonds, so two are converted into sigma bonds, one is a pi bond again. Now, so we will get this cyclic adduct molecule, right. So, those two new sigma bonds will have the sigma molecular orbitals will have lowest energy. So, even lower than this uh, reactant molecule orbital. So, this is sigma 1 molecular orbital. 
and this is the vertical plane. Yeah, one more important thing which we need to uh, keep in mind is unlike in the 2 pi plus 2 pi cyclo addition reactions, here there won't be two mirror images, only one mirror plane will be there, one mirror plane will be there, there won't be any two mirror planes, okay. So, according to this mirror plane, this is symmetric, right. So, the mirror plane is here and according to this mirror plane, this is also symmetric and another mirror plane is here for the pi and this is also symmetric and if you see here, this is anti-symmetric. So, you cannot get the mirror image of this, right. So, these lobes are different on top and these lobes are different. So, this is anti-symmetric and now this is symmetric and this is anti-symmetric and this is also anti-symmetric, right. So, this is symmetric with respect to the product. And now, one more sigma bond will be formed by this combination. So, this is psi 2, right. So, a pi bond is here. So, now match this, what is happening? Is this having the mirror image? So, there is no mirror plane of symmetry. So, this becomes anti-symmetric. And now, coming to the pi molecular, bonding molecular orbital. So, bonding pi molecular orbital can be seen only if the orbital is like this. And if you see the mirror plane, mirror image here, this is symmetric, this is symmetric. And coming to the antibonding molecular orbitals, so pi antibonding will be seen here with low energy. Compared to the sigma antibonding molecular orbital, pi antibonding molecular orbital will be seen. So, you see are they mirror images? No. So, this is anti-symmetric and now sigma anti-bonding molecular orbital This is sigma 3 star, this is pi star, this is pi molecular orbital, bonding molecular orbital. This is sigma 4 star, sigma antibonding molecular orbital. So, these are the molecular orbitals with different symmetry properties. You check the symmetry here. So, this is symmetric with respect to the mirror plane. So, this one is anti-symmetric with respect to the mirror plane. Now, you try to combine this according to the symmetry properties. So, this is symmetric and matching with this one in the ground state, right, sigma 1. So, this is symmetric and pi molecular orbital, this is symmetric and this is the pi bond of the product, it is also matching and this one is sigma 2 and this is matching with this one. So, you see the matching of the symmetry properties of the orbitals, pi orbitals of the reactants and also the molecular orbitals of the products are match correlating with each other within the energy barrier. That means, none of them has moved to the excited state, right. So, therefore, 
it is happening the entire reaction that where is the formation of uh, sigma bond another sigma bond and pi bond is happening within the ground state. So, 4 pi plus 2 pi cyclo addition reactions are ground state reactions that is thermal reactions ok. So, here also you combine this, this is matching with this one and this pi antibonding molecular orbital this is matching with this one and this one is like this right. So, there is no crossing of the energy barrier and what you can clearly see that is so all the correlation is happening within the ground state. So, therefore, 4 pi plus 2 pi cyclo addition reactions are thermally allowed reactions. Okay. So, hope you understood the orbital correlation method for both 2 pi plus 2 pi cyclo additions as well as 4 pi plus 2 pi cyclo addition reactions. This is more important. So, you need to uh, be thorough with the correlation theory. Okay, thank you.